Well, my name is Mike Inez. I thought I'd uh, share with you guys about kind of my upbringing and, and how I got to be here in this crazy business. I started playing like clarinet and saxophone maybe uh, fourth, fifth grade. Influences were like, uh, you know, Ozzy, Geezer Butler. I always knew I was going to do this for a living. There was a guy that worked there and said, hey, I just uh, I tried out for the Ozzy Osbourne band. You should go check it out. Phone rings and it's, it's Ozzy. And he's like, hey, you're in. I went from playing the coconut teaser here to living in a castle with Ozzy Osbourne in, in one week, you know, and, and uh, playing Wembley. That's how I started in this whole business, you know, just uh, just a really lucky chance. We did about a 16, 18 month tour, I remember, and uh, we had different bands opening up for us. That's how I met Alice in Chains. He says, uh, I think our bass player Mike wants to quit the band. It turned into a, a permanent gig for me. That Seattle grunge scene was just taken off at the time, and it's like they had shot out of a cannon. I get a phone call from Ann Wilson from Hart. He said, why don't you come out and, um, you know, do a small tour with us. Uh, I love Warwick basses, amplifiers, Ampeg. I use the SVT2 Pros. Jim Dunlop, picks and pedals. The Marky Blue Steel strings. Enough about me and my, uh, my toys. Yeah, you know, just uh, get jamming. A little bitter. Uh, we tune it down a half step. It just adds to our heaviness. A lot of bands do this. The pattern, I'll play it really slow. That's the initial bass uh, pattern, you know? A lot, of, a lot of the Alice in Chains stuff, we go on patterns. I'm, uh, I'm jumping up here now. And basically the whole scale is... We'll put it all together and me and, me and John Tempesta will uh, jam it out for you.